YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Breezy Kicks, the Sneaker Fiend. Now today we got the SB Dunk High in the Tur Dunkin' colorway. This is a special box. Before we get into the shoes, make sure if you are new to the channel, you subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the content. Follow me on Instagram at Breezy underscore Kicks 23 as well as the soul luxury speaking of soul luxury that is my brand i sell sneakers streetwear all that good stuff as well as my own clothing and i actually have a new item dropping this thanksgiving it is the piece i'm wearing right now this black hoodie white embroidery on the front got some embroidery text in chinese on the side very nice quality i also have an image on the back show you that real quick so this hoodie right here is limited to 25 pieces there's only 25 made that's not 25 per size that is in total the sizes will range from medium to extra large leave all the info down in the description below so make sure you guys check it out uh, it's pretty exciting i've been putting a lot of work into stuff like this giving a nice luxury feel to the sneaker game so go check it out show some love and copy some merch but with that being said it's your boy Reza Kicks let's get it man I am super hyped to have been able to purchase these shoes in the special box edition and if you weren't able to buy that day there is a second chance for just a sneaker, it will not come with the special box. It drops November 21st on the Nike Sneakers app. Let's just get right into this box right here because this thing is insane. You do have this giant box. It represents like a stove, obviously for like Thanksgiving time, you know, cooking a turkey. So for those of you who don't know what Turd Duncan is, it is a duck stuffed inside of a chicken stuffed inside of a turkey. Now I'm not gonna lie, that sounds terrible. I would not eat that. But that's what this shoe is based off of, that Tur Duncan meal. So if you didn't know that already, now you know. Now let's take a closer look at this box. As you guys can see, it represents the oven. You have the knobs up here, little handle, and you got the flames, because it's cooking. You got a bunch of smoke around all the sides. You can see the sizing and then it has a circle around the size that you've got. This says seven and a half. I'm not a seven and a half, but I plan on selling this shoe. So it's mainly just to resell and I'll get into like my resale predictions and whether I think you should hold or sell now. So stay tuned. We'll get into that at the end of the video. But yeah, this box right here is really dope as a cool way of opening. So you'll open each side like this and then looking inside of the box you do have this little mill cool little like nerf theme it has a little nerf football and at the top there are some cardboard prints I did look under there and they are empty so it's just for looks but you know the football is real so that's pretty dope then there is some cool nutritional facts on the back it says Serving size, one concept, Nerf Vortex. And it says, we outside, 100%. Active play, 100%. Skate, 100%. So, I thought that was a little cool touch to the shoe. We'll put that to the side. Then you got this paper, which is the turkey with Concepts logo. It's whatever, I don't really care about that. And then you got the shoes inside. So we'll pull the shoes out. So the regular Nike SB box, nothing special. As you guys can see that size seven and a half. The one thing I did notice that was kind of weird is that the shoe obviously retails at $120. Now on concept for the special box, it was 250. So I did find it weird that the tag on the side of the box retail price is 120. Uh, to me, it makes sense to do 250 because it this box right here these shoes right here were part of the special box edition so in my opinion i feel like the tag should be different than the originals it is what it is if you really think about it you paid 120 for the shoes and then paid the what 130 for the box if you look at it that way it's definitely not worth it but this one will have better resale 
So it does come with these SB Dunk little socks. It does show a chicken's foot, which I thought was pretty cool. I would take these out and you know show you guys closer, but like I said, I'm looking to sell this pack. So I want to keep all the stuff brand new and dead stock. And bam, the SB Dunk High in the Tur Dunking colorway. Absolutely fire. Such a dope concept, such a dope shoe. You have so much detail that go into this colorway and the materials. You got some fluffy brown material in the back. Then this feather-like material on the underlay in the middle. You got more of that like fur type material, but in a lighter color running along the laces and the toe section. Then looking at the toe box of the shoe, you have this tan suede, really nice quality. Then going up the shoe, you have this green arrescent tongue with a yellow tab up at the top. It does say Nike SB, but instead of saying Dunk High Pro, this one says Duck High Pro. And I thought that was really cool, something different, just a nice little touch to the sneaker. Now, if you look at the side of the shoe, you can see the Nike swoosh does have this arrescent look to it. On the outside, you got this blue color, whereas the inside, you got the green. And this just represents a mallard duck. Now, the shoes do come with these light brown laces, as well as some yellow laces and some maroon laces. Now, real quick, let's look at these shoes with all three different laces. We all gotta maintain. See the dead orange jail, and that's the goddamn shame. There ain't no in between. You gotta pick a side. Cause if it's a war in hand, you can't be switching sides. We all got a role to play, and you better play it wise. When you on the battlefield, gotta watch out for landmines. Bam. Let me know which laces you like the best. Now there are some more details to this shoe. My favorite part is this lining right here. So it is this leather-like material on the lining. You do have this duck pond setting. You know, a bunch of these cool little prints. You guys can see the duck right here. You got like a tree, a bunch of different leaves and stuff. Then the insole is that same material. Very cool. I absolutely love the look of leather lining on any shoe. And you know, having the print added on there just makes it that much better. Now, looking at your mid and outsole, you have two different tones of orange. You got more of a peachy type color on the outsole, whereas your midsole is like a true light cream peach. Obviously representing a duck's flippers or feet, whatever they're called. Nike SB and Concepts killed this collaboration and I can't get over this shoe. It is that dope. I'm definitely gonna be going for my size on the sneakers drop because I just want this shoe as a personal. I wanna be able to rock it. Like I said with these though, I am gonna sell them. So getting into resell and whether I think you should hold the shoe or sell now. Now, if you've been in the game long enough, you should know by now, these shoes are gonna just go up in value with time. They might drop a little bit, which I think they're down to like 500 to $600, depending on the size, which in my opinion is super low. Now, obviously we're talking about the special edition box. Uh, I think the normal ones are going for around that $500 price range, but I see the special box edition reselling for over a thousand within the next six months. So if you do have this shoe and you're looking to resell, I recommend you hold on to it for at least six months. I think within a year, that's when you'll have those really good prices, probably 1200 to 1500. And with time, I think it'll just keep going up. And as for the regular edition with just the normal box, six months, I could see that one going for around five to $800. Let me know what you guys think of the shoe. What do you think of the special box? I think it's one of the best boxes that we've got from any SB collab, that's my opinion. It's just, it's so out of this world, so much going on. What do you think resale is gonna be? Leave that down in the description below. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button if you like the content. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at breezy underscore kicks 23, as well as The Soul Luxury. Again, that is my brand, go check it out. But with that being said, it's your boy Breezy Kicks. We out. That was good. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs>
I don't trust no one but a God that we trust, nigga. If we getting rated, everything is getting flushed. I done had 12 through that shit more than once, nigga. If I gotta go and make a move, best believe it's getting done. Uh, best believe it's getting done. Best believe it's getting done. I don't trust no one but a God that we trust, nigga. If we getting rated, everything is getting flushed. I done had 12 through that shit more than 